Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I just want to say I think you're really cute, and I was wondering if I could get your Snapchat. Fuck <laughs> no. Uh, excuse me. I just, nah. I'm good. <laughs> Trust me. So what I always see with girls when they get rejected they always sound like they're a bit offended when someone says no like it's some sort of surprise like how dare they say no to me but uh fair play to the guy he is a savage this guy ain't no simp this guy ain't no simp i respect it i respect it but he was looking over his shoulder he's probably trying to see if his wife's around Fair play to this guy right here, you know, he's a, he's a good looking guy, obviously he's going to get girls when he goes out, so he's a lot more uh, used to this sort of thing. But if you look at the reactions of the girls, um, when they're faced with rejection, especially good looking women, they just don't know what to do, because it, it's very rare. Um, us guys, we've all been rejected hundreds of times, that's just the way it is for men, it doesn't matter how good looking you are, it's happened to all of us. But women, it's very rare, so you'll see a lot of them, have. they just don't know what to do. So some of them even started um, smacking him and hitting him, around, hitting him around the head. I had to cut that out, obviously, but that's just uh, a crazy double standard. But anyway, uh, but yeah, this guy ain't no simp. So uh, fair play to this guy, fair play. Whoa! I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this clip of KSI swerving this chick on the stage of one of the uh, boxing shows he's co-promoting. Um, if you don't know who this girl is, she's actually a porn star, so fair play KSI, I think you <laughs> dodged a bullet on that one, but can you imagine if this was the other way around and she didn't like it, his career would be finished. Finished. Picture with me? No, thank you. No! Why not? Go ahead, B. I'm, I'm like one of your biggest fans. Come on. I've been watching you for years. Not me. B, look no. how beautiful this girl is. talking about somebody else, but no. not me, huh? Has a guy ever like, reacted this way no, to you? No, never. I'm like quite shocked, actually. I want to show you something really, really beautiful. Excuse me, please. Come on, out of the way. Right. It's that. A 6.2 litre V8 with 700 horsepower. The Grand Cherokee Tracor. This is the world's most powerful SUV. I know you. Yeah, you do. See if you can remember where you know me from. Well, we're not going to do that because we don't want to promote the other show. OK. But last time I spoke, you had a boyfriend. Yes. Is that still the case? Yes. <laughs> Waste of my damn time. I've seen a few of Young Philly's clips before where he just gets up and leaves if he doesn't hear what he wants to hear. But that's how you got to be. you got to keep it real. If you, if, if you don't want it, just, just go. You can't be worried about the way they're going to feel or react. Um, but yeah, to me, she still looks available. Her body language, her posture, her vibe. She's still on the market. So uh, good luck to her fella. But um, yeah, fair play to Philly. What is the worst male fashion trend? Um, uh, the porn, the new like porn stash, like the the the, 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 the Top Gun like porn stash. What, Miami. <laughs> yeah, that, like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you gotta you gotta let it go. It's over. The movie came out a million years ago. Hey, I like it. I'm keeping it. I like it. I like it. I mean, if you if you like something about yourself, don't change it for no woman. I don't care who it is. If you like something, you don't change it. Social media has people so delusional. You want this guy, 
But it's just not enough. It's of not that enough. Man. It ain't enough for this it's, type it's of guy really that you enough. want, man. And I'm just being dead ass. Like, it is not enough. Over six foot, six pack, six figure men, no kids. Men, it ain't enough out of there. It's, it's, you talking about 0.05%. Do you think that's why certain women share men? See, this guy is just speaking facts at the end of the day. I mean, as men, we're expected to be six foot tall, drive a nice car, earn 100 grand a year, dress nice, have good hygiene, be confident, be funny, be charming. The list goes on. I mean, it's it's just not an accurate uh, expectation. I mean, there's just not enough men out there. It's like below 10% of men who would tick even half those boxes. So it's just social media is just frying the brains of the youth and uh, some women out there. What would you do if I wanted to start on OnlyFans? Why? Why? I'll ask you why. Like, why do you want to start OnlyFans? Make money. What are you doing at the moment, though? Have you got no job and you're just trying to? Yeah. What if I was just out here hustling? Well, that's, that's like your only result to do OnlyFans. It's not the only result. It's just why do you want to do OnlyFans? Extra income, then? isn't it? Nah, man. Multiple streams of income nah, on Netflix. Nah. Well, what are you doing, though? Sharing your toes. I knew you like toes. No, I don't like toes, but like, them man can see toes. I don't care about toes. Them man can see the toes, but you're trying to show like everything else. Nah, man, I don't want anyone seeing what I, what's, what's mine like. Bro, there's no way my girl's getting OnlyFans. Sorry, big up everyone that's doing their OnlyFans. You don't do your thing, but my girl, no, I'm your only fan. I'm the only one I see in that stuff. End of story. Listen, if you're dating a girl and she's doing her OnlyFans and stuff, she and she's on about she wants a nice guy, she wants a loyal guy, going to treat her right, no one's going to respect her 100% because she's doing that sort of content. Like, thousands of people are getting off to your chick online. It's just not the way. For me, personally, I, I would never uh, get in a relationship with a woman who's um, doing that sort of content. There's plenty of other ways to make money. But... Um, I mean, she'll get a lot of one-night stands, that's for sure, but there's a lot of women out there who do OnlyFans and they're saying they can't get a relationship and they can't figure out why. It just doesn't make sense to me. I find you a bitch. Get you laid. Oh, yeah? Potentially down for the kill. Would you make out with a virgin right now? Right now? I definitely would. If he's down, yeah. I can, man. I was talking to somebody over there. They're, they're not looking, buddy. They're not looking. Huh? They're not looking. No, I can't. That uh, sorry. Sorry, I can't. I was talking to somebody over there. Sorry. No, you did. You did. Sorry, bro. What advice would you give to our virgin? Be friendlier and more outgoing. Seems like an asshole. Oh. oh. You think he's an asshole, eh? I mean, like, a bad experience. Just weird vibes. It was super awkward. He wasn't confident in himself at all. He's like, I'll give you a hug, and I'm like, sir. It's not why he's here. Yeah. He's like, I have a girl over there. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he flexed on you, eh? Hard. Let's take a note from this guy. You should always be honest. Uh, if a girl's trying to get your attention or get your number or anything like that, just be honest. There's nothing wrong with that. But for what you'll see, um, not all the time, but um, quite common, you'll see that the girl who gets rejected and her friends will start getting quite offended and nasty. You start calling them names. You'll start hearing girls call you insecure and all sorts of stuff like um you see that quite a lot i mean it's just that double standard be friendlier and more outgoing seems like an asshole oh, <laughs> oh. you think he's an asshole eh? i mean like a bad experience just weird vibes it's super awkward he's not confident in himself at all he's like i'll give you stop the cap <laughs>